Spectre here and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I'm sorry. So I've been busy working on my dissertation and the day I hand in my dissertation, they announced that toddlers are now back in the game. So I was like, huh, I, I want to I wanna play with the toddlers. And they added like so much new stuff in the game to go with the toddlers. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... So I'm gonna do a random series that makes absolutely no sense whereby I have to fulfill one of the aspirations in the game. I roll for a random aspiration and by that I mean I put a bunch of paper in a box and pick one out and it was the serial romantic which is the most interesting aspiration in my opinion. So I got two of this, I got the story and two of the characters. So the first character is outside there, standing there with her daughter. And her name is... I forgot, her name is Ai. Which, it's just Chinese for love. So she has a toddler daughter. And what happened is, like the background story behind this is, her husband died a few years ago when her toddler baby was still a baby. So, <coughs> excuse me. So now she has this nice house. She's, a, she's an artist. Her husband was really rich, so she didn't really have to work. So she's an artist. And right now, all she's doing is going to be going around, having a bunch of boyfriends, maybe racking up a few homes in the process. Who knows? Uh, but... Generally, the only her personality-wise, the only person she cares about is her daughter, who is Hua, and that's the story really. So right now we're just fixing up the house. I bought this random house. I think it's in the fashion district. Yeah, it's a quick zone, so I feel like I may have to change that because, ah, uh, like it's. I don't think she'd live in a quake zone. I mean, because she has a daughter, daughter might get scared. So I might change that later on when I start playing the game. But yeah, so we're going through changing up some doors because I didn't quite like the look of the current place. I mean, I, I tried making it nicer. I don't know whether I succeeded, but that's a thing that I did. So yeah. And I'm so mad I can't change the door outside because I was like, this door doesn't match! Mm. But yeah. So her daughter's room is going to be really, really cute and like feminine and stuff. And then we're working in the kitchen first. So, kitchen. Totally boring stuff. Um, in case you're wondering where City of Dreams is, City of Dreams is on a small break because I just finished my dissertation yesterday and handed it in my practical work and everything, so I need some time to sort of rewind and like, not rewind, unwind and relax. And I do have plans of turning the City of Dreams into a comic. So there is a comic going side by side with the City of Dreams episodes. So that might take a while. Because, oh my goodness, that's a giant curtain. Because, yeah, it's, it's art, takes a while. And oh, I completely lost my train of thought. But yeah, uh, Bunny Challenge will be coming back as soon as I am properly back in the mood of recording. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is record a bunch of episodes of this game where I'm just mucking around, mucking around and having fun and then just sort of schedule them in advance. So at least there's something coming out on the channel until I sort of fix my schedule again and sort out my uh, school stuff and currently I'm having a lot of issues with uh, money so I need to be focusing on taking in more commissions to get more money so I can actually buy food so yeah so what we're doing now is actually sneaking some lights underneath the cabinet so it's all brightly lit I got that idea because I was staying with my sister and she just got a new house and she's planning to get some LED lights to stick underneath the cabinets in her kitchen. And I thought that was nice. 
Um, no bathtub in the mom's bedroom because there's going to be a bathtub in the daughter's bedroom because it's adorable. You get to bathe the you get to bathe the baby, and it's the cutest thing in the world. I swear, it's so adorable. You get to play with them in the bath and everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, the fact that I always wanted a kid and the fact that toddlers now has been so vastly improved compared to the the last one. The Sims 3 one, now you actually get so many extra interactions. Like when I was messing around with the toddlers last night, uh, the, she woke up because she had a nightmare or something and she was really sad and she was crying and you had to go up 3 in the morning, wake up and go and comfort her. And it's just so good. So I think the toddler is going to be an added challenge in this game because from that little that I played with yesterday, they seem to need like round the clock care. And I is a single mom, so that's gonna be interesting seeing how she deals with it. Oh, here's the daughter's bathroom. Got her the princess bathtub because she is the little princess of the house. She's got the angel trait, which I just added to make things easier for me. But I think, like, yeah. If I could, I would have made her the fussy trait, but honestly, it's I would have died. And how cute are those cloud lights? How cute are they? They are st oh my goodness. Also, there's no like proper toilet in this bathroom because potty. And we got one of those cute- oh, I swear these stuff are so adorable. I mean, if I had kids, like I really want kids. And if I had kids, I would let them do that as well. Just like scribble on their door. Just, just to make it as a part of a decoration. Just give them some crayons and let them draw something out to mark their door like their bedroom door and stuff anyway I'm going off track here uh, back into the mom's room just adding some little towels and stuff just to make it a little bit more realistic and it's a little bit sad as well because she's only got one dressing gown and those carpets oh oh by the way can I say I really love this bed like I can't wait to add it in the city of dreams but at the moment they can't afford it yet so yeah and I, I wanted to put the late night uh, lights there, where you, it actually has like the flirtatious moodlet thing. But yeah, I was trying to it's trying desperately to fit in something there. Oh, there goes my phone. Oh dear. Let's ignore that. Um, yeah, I'm in the in the end, I found that like end table, which was really good, and put shoving a mirror in the corner, and. Again, I love putting glass doors there and then having the curtain over the glass doors. Those are my favorite things to do in the world. A little couch to cuddle up with the potential bay, as well as, you know, if the daughter comes in, because there is a connecting door between her daughter's bedroom and her bedroom. So yeah, and how cute are the toddler's beds? I can't wait to see the kind of CC stuff that comes up with it. I was trying to make like a canopy for the for the daughter's bed, but like I couldn't, I couldn't find a pillar that matched the wood of the bed. So I was just like, oh, just forget it. I tried. I'm sorry, but yeah. So half the room is carpeted, and that's where she's gonna be playing. The other one is sort of like um, waterproof laminate, so that's near the bathroom door. So if she comes running out after escaping her bath time, uh, at least she won't get the. At least it's easy to mop up the mess, so yeah. And she has a giant wardrobe and a smaller set of drawers there because she has all the little fancy clothes in. <gasps> clothes are s again so cute. I can't, I can't even. You guys don't understand. Oh. Anyway, we're going downstairs and just trying to add more stuff that makes sense, like that staircase really isn't child friendly and that bothers me so much but you know I want it I want it to still be inside my shoe no I'm not done experiencing the city yet so and I noticed something uh, when I was playing last night I was had my proper Kraken headphones on so I could hear everything and I didn't realize that the city it's actually noisier in the city like there's ambient noises at night which is so true to real life, which is why I hate city living so much in real life. But yeah, 
This is the proper dining area, like the formal dining area where if she has any guests or any dates over, this is where they'll be sitting, hopefully. I say hopefully because Sims have a mind of their own. They don't like sitting where they, you want them to sit. And yeah, adding in that little poster thing. I wanted to use art, but the thing is, like, she has a daughter, so I thought like the colors in those posters would be more interesting to Hua. Adding in a carpet, which is... Now that I think about it, it was pretty bad news putting carpets in the kitchen dining area. Anyway, this is the their current um, dining room, which is where I and Hua will be eating because I think it's cute. And I like how the you can actually put the baby chair up against the table. So cute. Oh, I'm done. I'm so I'm sorry, guys. But this update was like the best thing. Like whenever people are like, oh, bring us toddlers. I'm just, I was always just like, you know, just, just wait a little while. You don't want to rush them. And I'm so glad, oh my gosh, those balloons. I'm so glad they took their time with it because you can actually see it's so good. Like the way the toddlers walk, like they sort of wobble around. And like when you pick them up, the way, the animation of when you pick them up, when they climb up into a chair to sit down. Oh, I just added the night light, the late night lights to the mom's bedroom because we need the flirtatious mood light. We need it. So yeah, uh, adding in a little chalkboard because I thought it'd be fun. I want a chalkboard in my kitchen. Like that would be a cute thing to have. Like so you can write daily reminders and stuff like that. That'd be adorable. What are we doing now? I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. This is the little office area. I imagine when the dad was alive, this was where he spent some time. Like, he didn't have it closed off from the rest of the house. It was just there, part of the house and everything. And that was because the baby was there. He wanted to spend time with the baby, but he never got to. That's sad. And there are child drawings there because... Hua drew those. I'm just gonna say she drew those so the mom's just like I'm just gonna have them framed up really nicely and put them here look at what you did oh that's adorable so yeah oh uh, I have to say I always wanted always wanted a kid of my own I think it'd be cute and I'll, I'll just let them draw on whatever just so oh, you're drawing on the walls okay you you do that we'll just paint it over in a year's time but okay I, I think it's really important to let them be creative and just let them, you know, let their imagination do their own thing. Uh, so I wanted to put the massage, that kind of foot massage chair there because uh, when spa day was out, I used, I noticed that it sort of helps with the bonding, like when you are, you invite your potential bay over and then you just have them give each other foot massages. I thought that was really good. But yeah, now we are adding in toys and stuff into the little girl's room. I wanted to put the dollhouse, but I vastly underestimated just how big it was. So in the end, we just put a toy box and some toys in the dirt around. And it's really cute. We also put a mobile over her bed, so it'll help her sleep at night. I don't really understand the logic behind mobiles. Like, oh, health and safety. Um, like, what does it, what kind of effect does it give to the kid? Like, I don't really understand. Anyway, I know she's, she might be still too young, I haven't experimented it with it just yet, but I wanted to put, like, her little art area next to her mom's because I thought that would be so adorable. Ah, okay. Yeah, we have the yoga thing outside because, uh, the mom's a yoga fanatic. I'm not sure whether she's gonna have time to do yoga during the gameplay to be honest because there's just like so much going on like she needs she needs the gas she needs to paint and she needs to look after her little girl so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is to just make it a lot more fun is to make sure that I aims for married couples because <laughs> like literally she doesn't care about anyone except for her daughter so yeah should be interesting. Uh, uh, we're gonna be really, really mean and like try and break up families and stuff like that because why not? It's The Sims, 
and I'm probably really frustrated with life, so I'm just like, yeah, destroy everything. And I'm not sure that that giant bush is gonna work. I'm not sure that I'm gonna leave it there because it's so stupid looking. <clears throat> but I thought it would be an added place for woohoo and stuff. And yeah. Oh, another thing. I is vegetarian as well. I'm finally putting to use the vegetarian trait, so should be interesting. And yeah, we're just at a point where we're decorating right now, adding in some plants and stuff because they live in a city. You know, pollution is everywhere. So just adding in as much greenery as possible to try and level it out. If I had to live in an apartment, it would be a very green apartment. But I'll have plants everywhere. Herbs in the kitchen, plants in the balcony, plants in the room, just like hanging pot plants from the ceiling. I mean, they, they all die because I'm terrible at looking after plants, but you know. Um, yeah. And I think we're going into the screenshots pretty soon. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!